back to another episode of Rob Sports Center. As you can see by the title, man, yes, I'm finally here with a Wilt Chamberlain video. Shout out to my man, Arum. Arum is a big supporter. Um, Arum watches a lot of my content. He comments on a lot of my videos. And I found out that Wilt was his number one player. So I told him I was going to get him some videos out there, some Wilt videos soon. So this is the beginning of many that I have coming. So shout out to you, Arum. But I have been wanting to react to Wilt for a while. You know, like I said, I want I gotta go back and I gotta educate myself on the legends of the past in order for me to articulately be able to talk about the game and how it is and what's different from the game now that it was different from the game back then. But y'all know how I do over here, man. I ain't gonna talk y'all to death. But before we get into this video, man, do me a big, 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 big favor, man. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. But also too, I wanna see Team Chamberlain in the comments. Team Wilt, Team Chamberlain, if you're a Wilt Chamberlain fan. Let's get into the video. Just one second, if you guys have been enjoying my videos, if you guys have been loving my content I've been putting out and you wanted to support, this is how you would do it. So you would scroll over to where you see the dollar sign thanks. When you click on the dollar sign thanks, it's gonna give you like four different options. It's gonna give you some preset options, but you can also go to more and give whatever you're willing to give. There's no certain amount. Anything is appreciated. I just really appreciate you guys for supporting me. Thanks. Now back to the video. And this is the 4K video by Elm as well too. Let's see what we let's see what we're working with, man. He thought, and rightfully so, that he was the greatest basketball player that ever lived. And I know him and Mike kind of had little jabs at each other time to time. Still, the most imposing physical player that's ever played this league. Period. There's no one that's come close to him in terms of just physical prowess. And as athletic as any man who ever walked the earth. You try guard a man on a basketball court sometime. This I gotta say before we get into the video, Wilt was a monster, a tower of a man, dude. Like, like man, go ahead, go back and look at that again. This, this dude was massive, bro. As athletic as any man who ever walked the earth. You try guard a man on a basketball court sometime. This was more than just some big guy who dunked the basketball and uh, ran him down the court. This was a true athlete. And his physical prowess was unbelievable. He's going to the basket. How do you game plan for Will? Will playing another three minutes game wrap around the fans. And the Goat Riders are here. They're coming in. Great play for the McMahon. Great defensive work. Tremendous ball handling. How do you game plan for that? It's just hard for people to fathom what we talk about when we say what he did. He did things that I had to defy description. I had to remember plays that he made that when I would talk about him, people said, no, he couldn't have done that. And I'll tell him that he was just a great, great basketball player. Here comes Boston, but Chamberlain keeps the pressure on. Will rebounds for a fast break. One thing I'm seeing too is that Wilt gets out on the break. You know, a lot of big men don't run the great run the, the um, run fast breaks as well as Wilt um, is running fast breaks. But the thing is, it's like you can tell that he was more than just a big man. You know what I mean? Even if you're looking at his body design, like look at how big and how fit he is. So that lets you know that he's serious about his craft. So he, he didn't just rely on just solely strict alone. Rebound. Wilt is toying with uh, the opposition. Chamberlain gets away, away from Bowman. Chamberlain again underneath. I know it was crazy watching this man in real time. By the fact that he let me assist later on, so he can pass the basketball. So he would have had all the tools, and he didn't display them all the time because he was asking about the things. He can hurt you with a fist like that also, playing the post. Now that was a great pass by Will Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain, most valuable player in the National Basketball Association this year. Well, obviously, as a legend, he remains uh, across the whole league. I'm glad he, the three-point line wasn't around for him. Yeah, you might figure that out probably too. Right. And see, look, once again, I'm glad. Let's clap it up for Steph. So Steph said it. Steph said it. He glad the three-point line wasn't around back then because what? He would have figured that out, and you translate that to even the, the debates we talk about with Mike, all these guys. 
if the three point line would have been available to them, as long as it's been for the up for the younger generation, the new generation now, those guys would have figured it out, bro. Like for real. But the th another thing that's sticking out to me too is Will Chamberlain's playmate. You know, like I said, he always gets credit. All you ever really hear about him in terms of is just his, you know, brute strength, brute strength, dominance. But they don't really talk about the 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 um. IQ aspect of this game. I'm glad I played in this era. Let's put it that way. Chuck Chamberlain. Oh, how about that? Well, the stealth driver. Well, the still. Here we're turning the shoes outside good. But then I'm seeing him shoot too. He ain't just dunking. Look at this. That's the way it is. And this lies, people. That was not his game. And if you remember, the main point is. 60% or more of those shots came on fadeaways. Let's see, I didn't know that. is the greatest scoring machine the game has ever known. And he can score on you in dozens of ways. Here's one you can't stop, the fallaway jumper. And he hits this repeatedly, despite good defense. That fallaway jumper just cannot be stopped. Let's see, look, if you ask, if you ask a lot of the, the newer generation, who started that, a lot of them probably would say Dirk Nowitzki. You know, I'm just being honest. A lot of them probably would say Dirk, but it goes back even farther than Dirk. I'm pretty sure, obviously, you had guys in the 90s who was doing the fadeaway. Well, you got, you know, um, Mike, but I'm talking about in terms of, like, big men being able to do fadeaway shots like that. But it goes even farther back to when Wilt was playing. You know what I mean? But that's crazy. On the, floor, the 76ers automatically have a great number of points. Unbelievable shot. You know, when you hear 100 points in one game, the first thing in your mind, you think, you know, he's just like that dunk out. Really. His competitive spirit that he had, that, that's the one thing about Will. Will did not like to lose. He always wanted to win. So if he'd have been 6'4", 6'5", or 6'6", I think he would have had the determination. He probably would have had more of that killer instinct also to dunk the ball and destroy people. Because of his size, I think he really held back most of the time and didn't try to dominate with his physical body. And I thought, quite frankly, that he was more of a finesse player than a power player. And yet, when he did turn on the power and exert that physical presence, he was unstoppable. Were you as great as you? But were? look, I'll, we always say that's why when I be saying about the, the the players from the '90s and the '80s being able to play in today's league, I say absolutely because. They have something that a lot of today's players don't have, and that's the mental fortitude for the game. You know what I mean? The will to want to dominate, the will to want to get better. It all starts here. So if you keeping, forget athleticism, if you keeping that mentality, whatever era you played in, you would have thrived. So because of the time, or would you be as great now? I mean, there was, you know, 15 seven-footers now. There were three. You know, I, I disagree with you there. I think it was a lot of big guys that I played. Guys who weighed more than I did. A few guys taller than I was. A lot of seven footers. But today, the guys are much more athletic. But I think sometimes when you have all that going for you in the body, how is your head? Thank you. The mental side. It's more than just physical. I think I'm the only guy on this planet that knows how really good you are. He was smart. We're talking about him, yes. He was a smart guy playing with us. The Celtics press the ball to keep it away from Chamberlain. He scores anyway. Chamberlain gets the ball as double team puts in on the left. Chamberlain boxes it all, still gets the shot away. Chamberlain banks it in. Chamberlain inside. Chamberlain with it. Wow! Chamberlain. Thank God for cameras, man. It's kind of Kevin Durant ish. Well, yeah, look how tall he is. Of course, he just shoots over everybody. Puts it up, well, knocks it down. Great shot by Chamberlain. Jones, three on two. Russell, blocked by Chamberlain. Didn't come down on the other end and playing defense. This is a big man. Now let's watch his defense. This is a big man. This is a big man, right? It's kind of Kevin Durant ish. Well, yeah, look how tall he is. Of course, he just shoots over everybody. He makes a heavily contested shot on one end and gets back on the break and makes a defensive stop on the other end. And see, that right there is the embodiment of why I'm so big on old school basketball now. 
because, like I say, the mentality was different with the guys back then than now. Okay, yeah, the guys now might be more skilled, but they don't have the same IQ. They don't have the same passion to want to win, to want to dominate Chamberlain. that they did back then. Great place by Will Chamberlain. Now let's watch his defense. He's going to challenge Will. He does. Will Price runs him right down his throat. Jumps it up over Will. Will Price. That's four shots for Chamberlain. I'm curious to know what's the most boxing he had in one game. Even one season. The heights that he's beat. He's with Mr. Crab, blocks the shot. Sam Jones, good block by Hamlin. Hey, he snatched lip suckers out of me and air, bro. That looks like Tesla's. Chamberlain has the rebound. Going to drive over Chamberlain. You thinking in your mind, I got it up there. All I got to do is just get it up there, and I'm good. Take getting it up there, and he's still blocking. Get it up again. <laughs> That was seven times, seven blocks. That's what he did. I know he didn't have a double double off the blocks. I like this, so I'm touching the finger roll. I'm like the guy said, I see a lot of finesse in Wolves game opposed to just brute power. Hey, Will Spawn, the legendary referee who's no longer with us, says if we call all the fouls on Wilt, we wouldn't have a game. So there's two sets of rules for Wilt when he plays. Will Chamberlain driving on Russell, and you may see a lot of that now. Here's a little bit of a misconception. A lot of people think, hey, Wilt was scoring against everybody else, and he wasn't doing diddly against Russ. But there were games in Celtics minor one where you got 45 points, 28, 30 boards. I think I got 62 on that guy, I remember very clearly. 62 off you? Yeah. I will never forget that. Will, of course, is a great rebounder also. Uses his height and his weight of about 292 pounds to great advantage. Chamberlain, rebound. Chamberlain for the rebound. Chamberlain rebounds it. Chamberlain rebound. Chamberlain the rebound, number 13. Chamberlain gets the rebound. That's a 55 rebound game. How about that? To go against Bill Russell, the great defender, and get 55 rebounds. People say, well, he, he wouldn't do that today. Yeah, he did it against Bill Russell. Yes, he would. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, he would. Because as many three-point shots they take today, and as many as three-point shots they miss today, I guarantee you he would have been getting the rebounds. Uh, so let's go ahead and stop that. Also, very gratifying. He's going to be a grand big boy. He's going to be a big boy. Chamberlain snaps it up on the board and rebounds. Here comes to Chamberlain, re-guarding him. One of the great scores rebounds ever. Chamberlain works hard and winds up with 46 points and 31 rebounds. 46 points and 31 rebounds. But it's not enough to hold back Boston. And as much missing as they do in today's league, he will definitely be having, he'll probably be having 15 rebounds a game. Wilt has had seven seasons with over 2,000 points. As the all-time high scorer of the league, Wilt sets records every time he plays. That was good defense on Russell there, too, though. You could just, you know, the shot. That was kind of just really good way. Yeah. 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 I know that you were taking your head for any time when Russell Austin knocked the shot and Chamber will cross the dribble. He's just so powerful, Marty. Yeah. Chamberlain following up 
again. He has so many, many times in his great career. Luke Chamberlain inside the loop. The loop gets it back close. Three hard to handle. Fury is battling out of the basket. And is dumped in by Chamberlain. He, look at that group play as often like watching the, um, that big brother who just out there playing with the little, the little brothers or the older kid who playing with the little kids and he just out there just dominating. Chamberlain, 7 feet 1, dunks 1 in. This time, this Chamberlain, he's got it. Chamberlain at 75. Oscar Robertson bounce passes to Big Will Chamberlain. And it's a basket. There's Chamberlain underneath. And he's up. Oscar Robertson. His first six years in the, in the pros, Will Chamberlain averaged 42 points, 25 rebounds, 3 assists. Chamberlain, top one. Pass into Chamberlain. Whoa. Chamberlain. Muffled his way under for a two pointer. That was all in the first six years of his career. Them already, especially at that time, Hall of Fame numbers. He's on another level. In an 80 game season, he played 79 complete games. He missed eight minutes of one game because he got thrown out. <laughs> that was inconceivable for us. Just one game, 48 minutes a game. I mean, no, this is what I'm playing. Look, but. Look, but you got players today willingly missing games due to load management. I mean, when I look back in retrospect, I said, what were they doing to me? Jesus, it must have been some time that I could have gotten, gotten a rest. <laughs> he never took one. Gives it to Chamberlain. That's the old school dog mentality, man. How the hell do you stay so strong all season? How do you avoid fouling out? How do you take a beating every night with guys pushing you, punching you, grabbing you, and come back the next night fresh as a daisy? How the hell do you do this, Will? Chamberlain puts it in. Now, I was paid to play basketball, and people paid to come and see me. And so my coach and the owners felt like, hey, people pay to see him, leave him out there, and let him see him. And I was able to deal, to deal, to deal with it in such a way that only missing seven minutes. And I look back on it now and go, hey, how? I, mean, you know, I, I can't look at myself. I would love to see him play against some of these centers today. It would, be, it, would, it would be pretty embarrassing for them to be candid with you. And even more shouting was the score. It's a retro course. 50 points a game. 50 points a game? That's right. 5-0. 50. Man's averaging 50 points a game. <laughs> My God. <laughs> He's averaging 50. The bomb is here to take 44. We are in awe of what he was doing out there against the best players in the world. Roger takes the jump shot. It's no good. Chamberlain. Good follow-up again by Chamberlain. Yep. Chamberlain. Why just missing? He gets 63. He gets 70. I mean, miraculous things. Chamberlain. Michael Jordan scored 50 or more points 31 times in his career. Impressive. Will did it 45 times in one season. The biggest, strongest, and the greatest score of all time. I'm just talking about it. Is it what we need to do it in the max? Hey, look. You know what's so funny? How I always say, when it comes to great players, you really can't stop them. You go, all you really can do is just let them do them and just make sure you control everybody else around you. This guy has the capability of scoring 100 points. So it's like, even if you could, if you, if, if you stopped everybody else, he's scoring enough points just to beat you alone. <laughs> oh, perfect defense against you. They locked the dressing room door. 
<laughs> no, nah, Wilt was a different breed, man. And I think, like I said, I think something that a lot of people don't understand too, like with big guys, they, they just automatically see them and they say, okay, yeah, they was just big. Uh, so they, you know, they, they they make it seem as if they just was superhuman. The thing is, you don't realize how much of a beating those big guys take, like they said, from constantly being slapped to being fouled all game long. And you're doing that over the course of an 80 game season, like that takes a toll on your body. Like even if you look at Shaq, Shaq was saying like when he came down in the summertime, man, he wanted to just chill because of the in season beating he took on a game to game, night to night basis, back to backs. Like, you know, it, it, it takes a very, it's, it takes a rigorous toll on your body. But that is it for this video, man. If you guys did enjoy this video, do me a big, 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 big favor, man. Me and Bob, obviously. Smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. When you subscribe, make sure you click that post notification bell. That way you'll be notified on all things Rob Sports Center. Because you're like the GOAT Drizzy Drake say, man. You do not want to miss whenever I upload because I got these videos coming back to back. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out this thing.